Good morning. Was the king's house burned by Babylonian captors? Our reading is from Jeremiah chapter 52, verses 12 to 16 today. Now in the fifth month, on the tenth day of the month, which was the nineteenth year of King Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard who served the king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem. He burned the house of the Lord and the king's house. All the houses of Jerusalem, that is, all the houses of the great, he burned with fire. And all the army of the Chaldeans, who were with the captain of the guard, broke down all the walls of Jerusalem all around. Then Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive some of the poor people, the rest of the people who remained in the city, the defectors who had deserted to the king of Babylon, and the rest of the craftsmen. But Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, left some of the poor of the land as vine dressers and farmers. So was the king's house burned by Babylonian occupiers? Yes, it was. And God had warned beforehand that if the nation continued in disobedience, it would be burned. I mean, there's many remarks like this throughout the book of Jeremiah. Several times we're warned about Jerusalem being burned or things being burned there. So not a surprise, not a surprise at all. The nation continued in disobedience and Jerusalem was burned. For some reason, it seems to be a particularly hard lesson for us, but when God says he's going to do something and then somehow we think, well, maybe he won't do it, that doesn't work out too well. When God says he's going to do something, he does it. It's almost invariable. If people repent and they truly repent from their heart, there are certain occasions where he will relent of what he was going to do. As a general thing, certainly apart from that repentance, when God says he's going to do something, it is exactly what gets done. God does it. It's just a matter of when. And people, we keep thinking we can put it off, we can put it off a little bit longer, we can just put it off a little bit more. No, you're prolonging the issue. We could save a lot of pain and frustration by following God's instructions and doing what he says when he says to do it. And why is it anyway that we think that our ways are wiser than God's ways? That's, that's really a strange thought to have. You know, it's blindness. It, it's, like, it's as though we were all deists. You, do you remember the deists? The deists were people who said that God made the world, but then he left it to go and do something else more interesting. He sort of left us here on our own, you know, here's the keys, do whatever you want, that kind of approach. A lot of us are closet deists. We don't want to admit it. We wouldn't want to think it. But we think that we can just do whatever we want. We can legislate in the church whatever we want. We can do in our own morals whatever we want, and it's all okay. No, it's not. God's Word gives us the guide for life. We can draw close to Jesus, but we need to start by doing what he says. I mean, God is right with us. He, he wants us to succeed. He gave us a Bible to give us guidance so that we could draw close to him. He has not left and gone somewhere else. He's right here. He's right here, right now, to help you and me. The truth is that we're a generation of very small faith in a time when God is looking for men and women of very large faith. May God help us to come to him and have that kind of faith. Let's, let's pray to him. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you that you are able to carry out right judgments. Please help us, Lord. Help us to hear what you're saying, to respond with faith, and to trust you and do what you show us to do. We thank you that we can ask you to help us with this, Lord. On our own, we will fail. You be our helper, and we ask for this help in Jesus' name. Amen. So we ask the question, was the king's house burned by Babylonian occupiers? Yes, it was. And no surprise. No surprise. Jeremiah was not surprised. Zedekiah, maybe. Jeremiah was not surprised. You and I need not be surprised when God does what he says he'll do. May he be with you today in all that you do.